Hello guys, welcome to this uh, YouTube video. Today, I want to start out by saying thank you a lot for all the views that I had on my last video. It has been a while since I put a Path of Exile video, but the last video I did was the Diablo video, uh, the Hamadin, and actually around a thousand views on it right now, and people have commented a little bit, and someone has liked, and it's very, very nice. Thank you so much, guys. I uh, hope, really, uh, really hope that it helped a lot of people out there. Uh, so I'll definitely check that out and check out uh, more of my Path of Exile content. Uh, today we're doing a, well, I'm making a video for the upcoming three months league, the Prophecy League. Uh, and this is going to be my starting belt. So I'm making a little video uh, with this. There's going to be uh, stuff, uh, how to link, what I'm going to link together. Uh, and also how I'm building the tree. Uh and a little bit more explanation. But let's start off with a tree. I'm starting Shadow, which I'm getting um, right here. You can't see it on the screen, but if you know uh, the tree, I'm gonna, just going to explain. This gives physical damage, but it gives the chaos damage, which we're going to need. If I haven't already said it, <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, well, it used to name... was named uh, Poison Arrow uh, back, in the <laughs> back before uh, like a 2.0, I think. Uh, they remade it, and I'm just gonna call it Poison Arrow. But it, it's in the title. It's gonna have the real name, but I'm not gonna go anywhere near saying that name because <laughs> I'm gonna get butchered or something like that. I don't know. But I'm just gonna call it Poison Arrow. You know what it is. Okay. So these first notes here with the shadow gives physical damage, but we need the chaos damage because uh, the poison cloud it makes is poison. So, of course, I'm going to pick up the life because it's going to be a life build. I'm picking up this. This is uh, damage over time. It also increases the duration, which is very, very nice for it. Because it's going to uh, stay longer around those. So, for that, going to go through here. Getting also a little... That's actually more cast damage here. This is actually a 20% one. It's pretty nice. Projectile damage is very, very nice for this also. Getting the life. Getting more life. Using a friendship charge. Getting a friendship charge. Also here, getting the um, pierce. Pierce is very very nice because it when I when I you shoot it where you put your um, what's it called uh, mouse is where the cloud is going to be but if it pierces uh, it's going to go further uh, through the monsters uh, picking up of course the more cast damage here uh, picking up a little more life here the more life here getting the frenzy charge I think I hope I hopefully you can see it with my uh, big head in the way. More damage over time, which is amazing. Uh, also, uh, life regen, because we are going to run Blood Rage. More life. And this wheel up here. More chaos damage and also um, some more chaos resist, which is very nice for this. Uh, does, there's no reflect in this build, mate. There's no reflect at all, by the way. No reflect at all. So you don't have to think any about reflect, but chaos resist is always uh, nice, because it tends to be expensive and... You normally don't really focus on it. More life here, more life here, and the AOE nodes in Witch Tree. Because then it makes the cloud bigger. And cloud, bigger cloud means more hitting more monsters, which is not amazing. Uh, mana regen, because I am going to. It, it is. Uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried this before, but I think it's kind of expensive on the mana. But it's not like you shoot it a lot. You shoot it one and then you move and then you shoot another one. Life, of course, more damage over time and chaos damage. Then we go down here, getting more life and also mana regen. And of course, we fit, finish out in the in the Templar tree, getting more AOE and more life. Um, so that's basically it. Getting the damage. This is a bit like a little bit bigger uh, overview of it. Uh, my plan is to go here and then picking up all this down here first, and then I can like focus on. I like to. Finish up one side, and uh, when I do a build, I like to finish up one side and then go through through here. So my goal is to to probably at least get here. This is 99 points, um, which is really really um, obtainable, really really uh, easy to obtain. Uh, but so let's talk about the ascendancy class. I am gonna go trickster. And because Trickster, and, and you want to say why Trickster, uh, because it actually has something called Patient Reaper, which um, <clears throat> it, uh, 
it actually has a 30% increase damage over time. Note this right here is is the 30% um, 30 damage over time, which is amazing. Uh, it's they're gonna be like it's gonna rip like that. So that's gonna be my first point. Next point is that I get the ghost dance, uh, which is gonna be it's for the dodge attacks and spell. Dodge, it's not really necessary. The only thing you really need from Trickster is the damage over time. Um, you could also go Swift Killer if you want to do that and get an extra friendship charge, uh, which also grants you a chance to get friendship charges without using Blood Rage. Um, but if you do that, I would say get this. If you if you're playing this and you're getting to the end game laps, you you're actually gonna get eight points. You can get eight points now. Uh, but, um, mostly, yeah, uh, but this is very, very nice because of the, uh, evasion and the maximum energy shield and stuff like that. And that is really nice. Is it like a defense? This is like a more like a defense thing. So if you really don't think you need it, you can go like so and just pick up this like so. If you just if you don't want to go the in-game laps, which I'm probably gonna try, but I'm not gonna go it on every character. I think on this character, I don't think it's needed. Uh, so I'll probably do like so. And if you want to, I would suggest you do like this if you get the eight points. So that was the tree. Next thing I'm gonna show you is the the build. And uh, as you see, it's a chloric arrow. That's my name on my character, uh, but I'm going Trickster, and this is the setup. I'm also going to put this in the you can uh, in the comment thing, so you can just copy it, so you don't have to pause the video or anything like that. Also, going to be a link to the build, of course. Um, so we're going Poison Arrow, Void Manipulation, Rapid Decay. Rapid Decay is the one that like damage over time. The Pierce. Because Pierce also have projectile damage or projectile multiplier, so that's really nice. Conk effect, uh, I do, I do think that conk effect is that good before you really get the Aoni node here. So I wouldn't suggest going conk right away, but yeah. And if you do get an empower, let's say you do, you're not playing this build list from start. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with slower projectiles to start out with if I get a six link. Um, but if let's say we have a, a four link, I would go uh, poison arrow, void manipulation, rapid decay, and pierce, and then I would go slow projectiles. Uh, if I get a five link, I would put in Kong effect when I get the AOE notes, um, and then uh, probably an empower. If I find one, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna try to level it up, um, but you know, I don't know. I'm gonna f you have to kind of see what it is. Um, if I didn't mention it, you need a, a, a poison arrow doesn't scale anything, anything at all on uh, damage, uh, like physical damage, damage, crit, or anything like that. So what you want on your bow is that you want a plus two, plus two to levels, at least. And that's pretty easy to find. Normally people, you can buy one from pretty much nothing at all um, and then you have to put it in your of course your bow because then it gives you to the bow so that's also kind of a restriction in that sense that you have to get the six link on your bow uh, and if you anybody's selling a six link bow is kind of already expensive in the start right um, but getting two plus bows and or getting them power or, and getting the Empower, which is going to increase the damage so much. Levels on Poison Arrow or Clustic Arrow is amazing. That's why also you want to Val this and at least get level one, 21 on this. I'm just saying this is in, this is like end game level 90 plus whatever, right? Okay. For if you get a six link chest, though, you can put in clarity. You want to run clarity, and you also want to run blood rage and increase duration. If you can, 
this is of course not a level max level clarity of course but you want to probably want blasphemy on either vulnerability or temp chains if you get uh the ring this is the ring that gives you the plus curses or you can also go up here get the plus curses here if you want to uh let me pick up this like so you can see it right there if you get the plus one curse right here then you don't need the ring uh might be okay, but then you're on 190 point, 19 points, but I don't know. I don't know. I want to run the ring because I might want to run both of these uh, vulnerabilities. Of course, you can maybe not run a very high clarity, but you are getting, if you're picking up uh, this over here, you do get, um, oh, that's not it. Wasn't you getting... Uh, Oh, okay, you can actually get the wave of arcane. It gives you 25% increased mana. So you can run that if you want to run a higher clarity. Uh, my bad. Just here. So there's a bit of fiddling around uh, with it. I haven't done the build yet. That's why I don't know where the end game is probably going to be. That's a, so this is kind of like up in the air. It's also a six, not really a six link, but it's because this is, has to be by itself. This has to be by itself, and this has to be it by itself, and stuff like that. So, you can't have the, the duration with the blasphemy because these uh, then will increase the duration and will increase that. But so I kind of have. This is some of the things you just need, maybe. But at least you want to run a plot. You want to run a clarity and a blood rage and stuff like that. But anyway, you want a spell totem with wither and faster casting and increased duration on it. That's very important for bosses, really. Uh, putting down the totem. Make it have the apply the wither, shoot a bow arrow, make sure the totem up is all the time, shoot another arrow, keep the sh the thing running and going around and going around. We're going around. I can actually see I put in blood rage two, <laughs> two times. Okay, so um, <laughs> I might not have it here. Then this might not be, but this is a little bit screwed up. I'll I'll fix this I'll fix this in the what's it called in the comment so if you look in the comment I'll fix I'll, this is, this will be fixed I'll fix it so don't worry about that I'm running a cast from damage taken you just need an increased duration and a mortal call I put in face run because even though uh, you come out of uh, face run if you uh, shoot something. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It gives a movement speed buff. It doesn't do anything with damage. It doesn't create this damage because it's a physical damage increase. So, no. Um. So for the last uh, thing is the bandits. I'm also gonna put this. I'm gonna get oak to get the life. Uh, next is gonna kill all the next a and troll and then merciless also kill all. I'm. You could go uh, creatin here because of the friendship uh, charge but that's really up to you if you want to i'm gonna try to kill all because i think the skill point might be better to get all the way over to to here to the to increase the aoe i think that's more what i want to do so that was basically it that is my uh, poison arrow uh damage over time uh shadow trickster uh i hope you liked it if you did uh, leave a like and uh, maybe a comment and so on uh, and i hope to see you on my stream or maybe some comments on youtube at least thank you guys so much for watching this was for who and i'll see you soon